going to check out some cool van builds, some off-road gear, some outdoor adventure supplies. But hop into that live chat. Let us know where you're coming from. And if you have any questions, keep us posted. Paul's going to be shouting them out live. Say hi to Sterling, Brad, Ster and Sterling, Brad, and Scott and Debbie. What's up? How's it going, van fam? Always our, uh, our um, loyal followers. We really appreciate that so much. So let's on go. Let's uh, check out the expo. Yeah, can everyone hear me and see me okay, by the way? Come with me and you'll be on a world of pure imagination. All right, so here's our first stop. We are at uh, Warner Vans right now. So uh, Warner Vans, they do uh, amazing service for Sprinter Vans in the Salt Lake City area. We've been to them, had a great service experience, but I think they're doing some other really cool stuff too. So let's see what's going on over at... Warner Vans here. Let's see if we can find someone. Everyone can hear me good? Cool. Let's see if anyone's here to chat. I don't think anyone's here to chat, so I'm gonna, yeah, let's walk into the van and see what's going on. Oh, so all of these, it looks like they're available for rent here. Oh, so Warner Van is doing rentals. So Sprinter utah.com you'll be able to rent some of these oh uh, here's the man himself hey how's it going we're live right now on youtube what's up on. yeah nice to see you good to see you you too how's it going How what's up you? so this is the warner vans team right yeah. here we're how checking out some vans good how are you doing great you want to let the viewers know a little bit about warner vans we told them about our amazing service experience oh, awesome. with y'all but we know you guys have got some other stuff going on so yeah, we got let us plenty know. of we got plenty of stuff going on. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Uh, so we're a van center, which means we want to be everything van, whether it's commercial, passenger, or recreational. Uh, under, I don't know if we're off the record or not, but we're, all, we're a little bit on the record. There, <laughs> there might be something happening with Storyteller and Warner Vans. Cool. You might be able to rent a handful. <laughs> Or select from a handful of storyteller vans. Come really? Because we know that a lot of people want to get in one, and they're hard to get in and rent and experience. So. There's also a rumor. It's just a rumor that a beast might reside in Moab for rental. What? A beast in Moab for rental? Wow. <laughs> if just a rumor, though, right? When it's time to maintain it, we should have our touch-free wash. Ready to go sometime in August. We've had some delays, but we're excited because you're gonna be able to drive your van through with your roof rack, your paddle boards, or whatever on top. Really? Nothing touches your van other than water and some nice. Get out. Some nice so chemicals. Our followers know how rarely we wash our van just because it's such a pain. I mean, you either take it to someone who does a bad job and, you know, messes up the graphics because they're going yeah. too hard, or we do it ourselves and we can't get up on the top or clean the bottom. So. so, our goal is to give you back those three or four hours a day or whenever you wash your van and only take five minutes instead. Nice. Very We're cool. Looking forward to that. We've just got our 10th Zentry machine with two more on the way. So we've got around 11 techs now and 27 bays to service you guys. Take care of the vans, making sure you're getting in and out. We're up in our service admin staff to get you in and out and get the communication flow going better. We've upped our parts staff and we're working on doubling our parts inventory to keep up with our new shop and new staff. Awesome, so if you have a Sprinter and you're in the Salt Lake City area, Definitely check them out. You know, we had an, um, one of the, honestly, the best service experiences we've had in servicing our chassis. So thank yeah, you for I that. appreciate that. And if people want to find out if the rumors are true or keep up to date on when things will be coming out, what website do they go to? Where can they get more info? Oh, man, SprinterUtah.com. You can find links for our rentals, our parts and service, our sales, and our upfit shop. So we might be working on a few traction devices. We might be working on a Bilstein suspension system. And uh, we might be working on an extended range fuel tank. So. Extended, wow. Lots of rumors. Lots of rumors. You heard it here first. Cool. So we might go and check out some of these vans. So uh, you guys are renting all these? So we have about 60 vans in our rental fleet. We've got about, what do we say, KJ, 12 to 15 adventure vans. Yeah. A bunch of minimalist vans, some more built-out vans, some rear-wheel drive vans, four-wheel drive vans, passenger vans, four-wheel drive passengers, and a bunch of cargos. We're, we're uh, 
We're a little more open. We have some Fords in there too. Oh, nice. Okay. So uh, we don't and, judge. Fords are good. Fords are we good. also just signed up for one of the first E Transits. So we'll have one of those in our rental fleet. So nice. So lots of cool. Yeah. What's the electric? Electric Transit. Electric Transit. Really? Wow. Yeah. Electric. Man, you guys got a lot going on. Sheesh, that's awesome. Good for you guys. We're getting ready to go into our rental and used building. So we'll have new building. And oh, the last big rumor, you might look at the sign outside, something about Mercedes-Benz Van Center-Warner. Oh, We've been so hearing something about that probably so October. October, people can connect the dots and see what's what's going on there. Cool. A few storms brewing, and uh, we should have a pretty fun Q4. Nice. Well, we love you guys. Y'all do great work. You know, great business. Um, so, if there's one van you'd recommend we check out here, which one you think? That one. <laughs> this one. Oh, the the storyteller one. Yeah, the storyteller's good. We'll be heading over there. But Moab, Moab. If you wanna. Check out one of those beasts in the future, yeah? Uh, <laughs> but think, here, what do you think? I think for showing your viewers, uh, you're going to want to look at that that tan van over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. Or the Sundance Kid. Yeah, the Sundance Kid yeah, is for rent yeah. and for sale. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's got that blue exterior and a yellow interior, nice. and it's called the Sundance Kid. I love so it. So can it get any better? No better <laughs> they, than they that. They have a Butch Cassidy. They oh, got no. a... <laughs> no, I get it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. so... Cool. Yeah, check it out. Let yeah, us know let's if you go have check questions. it out. We can show you around. Cool. Thanks, right guys. So, SprinterUtah.com? SprinterUtah.com. SprinterUtah.com. Cool. We've got cool. an online reservation system going live as well cool. in the next couple weeks. So. Very nice. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, real appreciate it. We're going to check out some vans. You too. So, yeah, if you are looking to rent some vans, uh, if you want to check out some of those rumors that we may have heard for the first time today, some exclusive Chad and Paul content, hit up SprinterUtah.com. So let's check out one of these vans that you can rent. Yeah, tickle. Oh, I like that, Sterling. Tickle. You normally would go for a gentle tap, but I like the tickle. So here's one of the vans that you can rent. Uh, built on the Sprinter chassis, so we've got some L-Tracks down here, some really sturdy material. And this is an interesting setup for those of you that are looking to build out some Sprinter vans. Um, so having the galley right here, again, isotherm fridge. I'm going to say it every time I see an isotherm today. Dometic, we've had, it's alright, but isotherm is where it's at. If you want a good fridge for a van, you want top of the line, best of the best, go with an isotherm fridge. Hey, Kevin, what's up, man? How's, are you in Hawaii now? Are you in Thailand? Let us know where you're at. I want to see, uh, catch us up. What's new with your life? Um, so here's a nice, I like this, the kind of, I like when people bring wood into a van. It makes it feel super homey. Uh, but a nice uh, galley here, sink with induction cooktop. You've got this couch here. Looks like it. Yeah, so Hawaii for a couple weeks in Thailand. So make sure to check out 30 and a Wake Up's YouTube so you can keep track of where he is. Global traveler, van lifer. Maybe he's going to be back in a van. Who knows? Uh, but this is a nice uh, layout. So it looks like you can flip this up to extend the bed even more. Oh, wow. There's some cushy, cushy cushions. But this is uh, the layout that you see typically in a Sprinter is something where you're going to have the bed in the rear. And usually it's a little bit modular. It's nice to have these seats here. And then... I kind of like the galley on this side. It makes sense. Yeah. All right, cool. So Warner Vans, hit them up for rentals for maybe some storytellers in the future. Um, see what's going on with them. But let's go head on over to Storyteller Crew, see what's going on over there. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, comments. If you want me to do a little dance, any song requests, I'll do it. All right. So this is the first time we've been to the outside adventure expo so i think it's geared a little bit more towards off-road gear off-roading uh, a lot of pop top uh, trucks we see too one more thing oh yeah one of the key players hey, David. Mr. Elgren. so we're, we're checking out one of the key players at warner vans how's it going Hi, i'm chad Hi. it's my husband paul we're live on youtube right now so maybe i can give david a little intro here yeah so we love David because he's blessed with OCD, okay? Uh -huh. So he's a 9, ISO 9001 consultant, and we've hired him to run our upfit divisions. Nice. So 
David, is there an announcement coming up that is worth mentioning about uh, Acorn Vans? Yeah, Acorn Vans. Van Builders? Acorn Vans is uh, coming uh, online in August, uh, end of August. Uh, we'll, uh, we anticipate being a Mercedes certified master outfitter. And so we'll be handling the geography of kind of the U greater Utah uh, area. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, and Acorn Vans at that time will also be the parent company of a DBA uh, van builders, uh, which currently exists and does custom work. Uh, and so we kind of fit a niche that goes with the van center here and being able to offer new vans as well as partnering with uh, dealers for Upfit. Nice. Upfit. So David's the man that you will buy and install some of those rumored parts I was mentioning. I yes. gotcha. Yes. I gotcha. Yeah. So for gonna... all that information, is it SprinterUtah.com? Is there another site Sprinter that... SprinterUtah.com can take you to Van Build. It's under our Upfit on the top ribbon. Okay. Uh, yeah. Your your website. Our website uh, uh, for utahvanbuild.com, vanbuilders.com, will get you uh, to our current site, which is mostly a gallery right now. Yeah. Uh, but both uh, uh, van builders and uh, uh, Acorn vans are under construction, and those will be coming online at the end of August. Are you guys and noticing show the theme? The thing. I see. I get it. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, we got a few things under construction. Yeah. A lot of things coming up. A lot of really exciting rumors, yeah. and uh, so you think by August for those new components, you might be you'll be. Uh, we Doing installs? We anticipate that uh, we should have uh, at least one of those, maybe three items that we're we're hoping for will be available. We're hoping to hit the shows with them, but you know, availability and parts are always a challenge. Uh, so as soon as they're available, yeah, we're gonna make those available and try to treat the undercarriage of these cool vans. We've had we get a lot of questions about some of those components that you're mentioning. So I think our, our viewers will be pretty pumped about them. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. And sure. one of the big things with David too is managing the weight of the van yeah. so as a master upfitter we've got to manage and reweigh and monitor the center of gravity right. so just making sure those vans are safe and operating within parameters is a big deal for us and as well as preserving the three-year warranty so yeah. we'll we actually there. get a lot of questions um, from van dwellers and van owners about you know the weight restrictions and they want to kind of find that balance between the the components that they need the livability but they want to be able to bring some friends in the van or their dog without getting nervous right. so how do you like how do you kind of find that balance between do you recommend really maxing out the restriction is the restriction just a, a liability that you can kind of go over a little bit what are your thoughts well I'll, let me address that um as far as the as far as the owner goes once the van is sold they kind of do what they want to do anyway, right? Yeah. But one of the things we find is we do custom builds, uh, and even with uh, standard builds, there's a lot in the process of the design. We need to understand the purpose of what they want to use it for, you know, what range of parameters they want to. Hey, it's mostly two person, but hey, sometimes they want to go four. Um, all those things are factored into the build. So when we choose, ultimately, we recommend the suspension, the upfitting, the amenities and features that are inside, all those are part, so the, their ability to be able to do the range. Um, otherwise, you can go on a lot and you just kind of get, you know, one thing. Uh, but uh, we have a, a lot in really trying to deliver Christmas morning to people when they when they get their vans. And you guys are familiar with that. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's super exciting when you can take their, their whole purpose, intent, and use and uh, the build and, and make it their own. So. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time, guys. I really sure. appreciate it. Yeah. yeah so so nice to meet appreciate you. It. Yeah. Nice meeting yeah. You. Take care. Guys. We'll swing by again later this afternoon. Yeah. Right. Take it easy, guys. Yeah. All right. So, so dropped sure. some really cool, uh, cool rumors there and some cool hints from uh, what's coming up. So check out the website. I'm excited to see. People want to know where we are, and someone asked you to do the Macarena. Ah, so we're in Salt Lake City right now at the Outside Adventure Expo, and here's the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. All right, let's go. Any, yeah, I'll do anything for a like. That, I'd say Macarena is maybe worth three likes, I'd say. But yeah, taking song requests all day, taking um, dance requests all day, interview requests. We do it all here on Chad and Paul. So, oh, so, Salty Medic, of course, of course. So here we are at the Storyteller booth. They got two beast modes on display here. This is the one in, was it the pebble, right? Pebble, I think it's pebble gray. And then that is the white right there. Um, and they have a rent me sign too. So a little teaser for what's coming up with Warner Vans. Let's see if we can chat with one of our storyteller friends here. But first, gotta hop on into the beast mode.
feel like I'm right at home. Maybe I'll cook a, cook a little breakfast in here, right? I know my way around. Uh, so this one is in shower mode. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we live in a storyteller full time and love it because it's super modular. It saved our marriage because I can chill out in the back right here. Paul can hang out in the front. We got the groove lounge that you can kind of, it's like a transformer. You can make it a bed. You can make it a chaise lounge. You can make it a little workstation, do some work here. So we love this van and uh, we love this community. Show the beast lights. Oh yeah, this, yeah, this is sick. So the beast mode, I don't know if we're worthy of a beast mode. Beast modes are for like, if you want to get out, no restrictions, you want all the bells and whistles. So we have all these lights here. So there's a big lighting package around, which really comes in handy. If you're going to be off-roading or boondocking, we've woken up right on the side of cliffs before because we didn't realize we were pulling into a spot and just another foot, foot and a half, we would have been, uh, we would have had a not so happy ending. So that's where all this lighting package comes in handy. So if you're doing some off-roading, boondocking, super important to get some lights. This has the KC lights outside, which we'll show you when we get out. And all the beast modes are numbered. So this is number 30 right now. They're really kind of bespoke vans. So they're gonna, may, they make them and uh, number them. So limited supply. So Brad asks if our Volta automatically charges up. So ours doesn't. So we don't have the auto start like we had in our gas, in our ProMaster on the Travato. But if you get the beast mode, it does come with, uh, it comes upfitted. So you are able to put it into high idle mode to charge the Volta system without driving. So that's one of the really cool things about the beast mode that you get is the ability to charge at high idle. For us, we haven't needed it yet because we haven't been in the heat so much and usually Volta charges so quickly anyways, within an hour, an hour and a half of driving, you can go from zero to that 12,000 watt hours of power. But um, I do see the benefits of being able to park and run high idle so you can charge up that Volta. Let's go around and check out this uh, lighting package. It also comes with, I think, the Agile rip kit, the Agile, um, suspension upgrade, which I think uh, makes the van three inches higher than ours as well. So you can see those KC lights up top. So there are different viewpoints on high idle. Um, you know, some people say you shouldn't run an engine without driving it. You don't want your running hours to be different than your driving hours. Other people say it's okay. I think it really depends on your usage and that's always what it comes down to, right? If you're going to want to have the capacity to park and run high idle because you're going to be running the AC all day for a week or so at a time um, and you don't want to have to drive it for an hour, you want to stay put, um, then it's probably something that's going to be worth it for you. For us, it's not a feature that we need because the Volta charges up so dang quick. We haven't really felt the need to use it in the past couple months. Oh yeah. So the graphics on the beast mode is really cool. You might be able to get in there. There's that beast right there. But anytime you see one of these um, driving, it's a little, it, honestly, I feel overwhelmed. Like I have to catch my breath because it really is, I don't know if you can tell uh, on camera, but it really is kind of an imposing, it's a beast. That's exactly what it is. So it comes with the Alvan components on the back, the Sherpa, you get a, the tire over here. I think it also might come with a box. Um, but again, if you're doing off-roading, word, uh, word to the wise is you want to have your tire accessible from the back uh, just in case you need it and also because it looks really cool. So let's see if we can chat with someone on the Storyteller crew. Yeah, 100%. So, um, sorry, who, who asked? I think it was Rick. So I think it was Rick asked, in our opinion, is this the best class B uh, van out there? And we think yes. So uh, you know me, I'm super OCD about doing research. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen some of our old videos where we kind of laid out, you know, all the different vans, all the different components, everything we needed. And for us, we think this is the best class B van out there. And the reason why, or multiple reasons, one is just the quality of the build. So if you come in and look, you can see every component is just 
best in the business top you can get, right? So they take the time to fabric line these cabinets, every push button. You know, when we were in our Winnebago, after I'd say a couple months, we had to replace everything, right? Because it was all these little custom plastic parts that you got to pay a lot of money for Winnebago to get. So um, here, everything is super, hey, give me those, what is Oreos doing in here? They knew I was coming, didn't they? I miss, I miss those Oreo lives. So we used to go live and just pound Oreos, but I gained a little weight, so I'm trying to, trying to cut them out. Um, the other reason why Winnebago is, I think, a top, uh, top class B van is the power no, systems. Oh, sorry, Storyteller is a top uh, class B van. Is the power systems insane? I mean, uh, this will get you going. You don't have to really think about power at all. Huge inverter, huge uh, output second alternator. So uh, charges up super quick. We can run the AC for like two nights if we need to. Uh, beautiful. We also love this van because of the flexibility. Like I said, everything is modular, right? So we leave this side of the bed down. We have some chairs here from Canyon Adventure Vans that we fold up, storage system from Canyon Adventure Vans. So I can work back here, have a workbench. We can both eat here, eat dinner here. The shower rolls up, so it's just super open and clean. Um, so quality, flexibility, usability, it's top in class. Also, last thing is the community. The community is insane, right? So uh, storytellers aren't vans that are just gonna be sitting in a campground somewhere. Every storyteller we meet is just doing crazy stuff. They're, you know, chasing, uh, chasing snow. They're, um, they're uh, mountain biking, they're dirt biking. Uh, they're doing fishing, doing awesome stuff. So they're always adventuring. So here we got the storyteller crew. The man, the myth, the legend. Yes. Ed Morgan, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Say hey to the people. Tell, give us a little, uh, tell us a little bit about Storyteller if you want, yeah. the philosophy, the oh, vibe, yeah. and where you got those glasses. Oh, Pit Vipers. They're Pit the, vipers. they're my favorite. So Storyteller, the, our whole concept here is that it's an adventure van uh, that you can go out boondocking and escape anything you want, go anywhere, explore endlessly. Obviously tell better stories. Uh, and so, you know, we created something that is mostly usable for everybody, uh, that's multifunctional, multi-purpose, so every piece does more than one thing. Uh, allows you to mix things around to use it as your family is, because not everybody's family is the same. Uh, and then there's a lot of cool people that uh, have partnered with us and, and made accessories that enhance that as well, uh, that really allow you to just kind of make it what you want to be and just go and and, and have life-changing experiences cool thanks man appreciate it oh yeah best community town let's hop on over here to thor Chad. my best Chad. this is my it's best Chad. friend Chad and Paul. my it's best my, my best half. friend thor kevin, says hi to thor. kevin, kevin. Says hi. hey kevin yeah well what's up best buddy what's going it's on so good dude today is amazing you yeah. know it's just really good i woke up i made myself a cup of domestic coffee <laughs> and then i was just ready to go there you go have you heard of domestic I coffee not, no. oh my <laughs> goodness domestic coffee it's domesticcoffee.com you heard it here first domesticcoffee.com domestic coffee, domestic coffee. It's like a, it's a it's a play on a, like a cycling. So oh, like okay. a professional cyclist that helped their team leaders called Domestiques, cool. and then, so it was a cycling founded coffee brand. Anyway, they're based out of Birmingham. Okay, cool. Yeah, Storyteller, <laughs> huge fans of Domestique cool. Coffee. Yeah. They so actually, would you say the best part of waking up is Domestique Coffee in your cup? It's uh, and sleeping sideways. And sleeping sideways. Sleeping yes. sideways. So, so our flares are made by Flare Space, uh -huh. <laughs> and when I roll out of bed and wake up with a cup of domestic coffee sleeping sideways. I don't think there's a one thing better That's than that. Maybe if Dave was like in the corner there there waking up. Yeah. Dave. All right, you heard it here first. Domestic coffee, side sleeping, side sleeping. in your flare space, hanging out with Dave from Alvans. I sleep sideways, that's yeah. Why you're, that's why you're the better half. That's true, you know? there you go. He sleeps sideways. This is, why, this is why he's my best friend. This is why Thor's <laughs> my best friend. And we got Brad over that's here, junior Brad. salesman. What's Hi, up, Brad? Mr. Chat. How's it going, man? It's good. going good. How are you enjoying the expo? It's nice. It's nice? I like hanging out with Storyteller. Yeah. Everybody's super friendly. Yeah. So. Watch out for this guy. He's going to take over the world soon. Brad has, uh, a, has a stealth. Oh, yeah. Brad's got a I stealth, I do. Right? We just bought a stealth. Yeah, yeah. it's very nice. Yep. Nice. Sleep four in that, so. Four in a stealth. All right, cool. And last but not least, we got Hot Sauce over here. Hello. What's going hey, on, hey. Hot Sauce? How you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? So what, what do you do with Storyteller? I sell vans. He sells vans. <laughs> I do. I help people out, tell them about vans. 
answer questions about vans, tell them anything about a storyteller, you know? So if, good stuff. How much can a storyteller tow, you know? How much can the storyteller tow? 5,000 pounds. Oh, 5,000. That's a lot of poundage. That's a lot of pounds. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of orders. All right, so if, if people want a storyteller, right, people, you know, there's a, there's a bit of a back order. They're hard right. to come by. If they want one, like, what's the best thing to do? Where do they go? Who do they talk to? I always say call your local dealership, see what the backup might be, talk to them, and get on a list. So that's definitely it. You know, get on a list because... Right now, you know, it could be whatever time frame, and then the next week it could be even further out. So it's just like, get on the list as soon as you can. Cool. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. So if you are ever at an expo, hop on over to the Storyteller Tent. That's always where you'll find the party and the T-shirts. All right. So let's bring it on over here. Oh, yeah, so this is the white mode. So it comes in white or the pebble color. I'm partial to white myself. I feel like it pops, but I like the pebble too. It's pretty cool. Um, and they've got some announcements coming up in July. So make sure to keep checking up on their website, see what's popping. What'd you say? Check up on our YouTube channel. Oh yeah, check up on our YouTube channel too. Yeah, everything. Oh, we got some little travel trip. Ooh, Alukai, I like their products. So let us know if there's anything you want to see. We're going to be walking around and dipping into some of the vendors that we like and we trust and we want to share. Uh, so I have no idea. So, uh, so Brad wants to know what Storyteller has got planned for next year. I don't know. All I know is they've got something planned. So you know as much as we do. But as soon as we hear something, we're going to be making some videos about it. So I think July 4th, they might be making some announcements. Um, but they've got some cool things, I think, coming out for 2022 so you have to check the website and uh, check our YouTube so I this just caught my eye tread lightly because unfortunately there are so many people living in vans now and exploring that we're seeing a lot of uh, overland and camp spaces getting trashed a lot getting shut down just because people aren't being good stewards of their spots or the environment so I'm gonna find out a little more about what they're all about Hi, how's it going Good, I'm Chad. Hi, Chad. Danielle. That's Paul. So we're live on YouTube right now. Oh, nice. And it just awesome. caught my eye, so I want to hear a little bit more about you guys, what you guys do. Sure. So we are a national nonprofit organization. We teach people how to be responsible in the outdoors, especially when they're using motorized vehicles. Nice. So we want people to be in the outdoors. We want them to do what they enjoy. We just need people to do it in a responsible, sustainable manner so we don't get locked out of the places we love to go. Right. So this has been happening. I feel like this past year, it's gotten really bad. A lot of like the boondocking spots and campgrounds we would campsites we go to last year yeah. starting to get shut down because people are trashing it they're not taking care of it so right. what do you guys do to kind of you know stop that from happening sure so we do a bunch of educational efforts we come to shows like this mm -hmm. put up a booth talk to passers-by make sure they know about the message we do special courses through our tread trainer program which is a train the trainer program we go out and teach people how to teach other people to teach this ethic mm -hmm. and then we offer you know, educational materials that you see on the table here, um, online courses. And then we also partner with industry, so manufacturers, after, after parts people, um, and we get, their, we get donations from those industry partners, bring volunteers together, and actually go out and do trail work. So we do restorative work, um, cleanups, we cut back tamarisk on trails, we, you know, put in shade structures, all different types of uh, restoration efforts so we can keep trails accessible and open. Nice. I love that. Thank you so much for doing what you do. So if people want to get involved, if they want to donate, how do they get in touch? How do they connect with you guys? Great. So you can go to treadlightly.org, visit our website. There's a join feature. We are a member membership based organization, so you can join as an individual. Um, and then, you know, look for opportunities to volunteer on some of our projects is a great way to get involved. And also, um, you know, join a local club. Um, no matter what kind of recreation you enjoy, there's typically a club that you can join of people who will be, you know, really, really knowledgeable about areas you can go and how to be respectful, you know, when you're out there. So I love that so much because you know what? I feel like I'm always complaining about it. Everyone we know is complaining about it. But what am I really doing about it? I'm not taking any action aside from leaving a passive aggressive note on someone's window. <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to get involved. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, great. Thank no, you so much. By. Yeah, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks. That's so cool. I mean, really, I complain about it all the time, but I just realized what am I actually doing about it? So 
I'm definitely going to check them out. So tread lightly um, so we can educate the public and um, keep our spaces clean and green and all be good Samaritans and take care of the environment. Some kitchen gadgets. All right, we'll definitely see some kitchen gadgets for sure. But first, I want to stop by this bike rack. How's it going, guys? Nice storyteller. What's up? So we're live on YouTube. I'm Chad. Hi, Haley. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, nice to see you again. I know. Nice that's right. Yeah, yeah. So we're, you're here with Velocirax. Yeah, so with Velocirax. tell us a little bit about Velocirax because a lot of storyteller owners that we know and a lot of, you know, van lifers in general, they're all biking, mountain biking, you know, gravel grinding, all that stuff. And some of them have big families with a lot of bikes. So what do you guys do? How do you help them get out there? So we have a three-person bike rack, but it'll go all the way up to seven. Um, it's got hydraulic struts on here, so you don't have to be, you know, Superman to do this. My 12-year-old can lift the bikes in and out of this rack. So I'll give you a little demo. Uh, push this in, lift the button. You let the weight of your bikes lower that down for you. And then you just simply grab your bike and walk it out. Cool. And then you can just walk it right back up there. And then there you go. Each of these cradles right here will hold 55 pounds. So my e-bike over there is no problem for it. You can also load that. We have a fat tire cradle, so you can have your bigger bikes on there. So it looks like super easy yeah. to lock up to. If you need yeah, to. it is. It's super easy. And then it, you can also turn it down over here into this camp mode. So when you've got to your campsite and uh, you've unloaded your bikes, you don't have kickstands on a lot of your mountain bikes and road right. bikes. So you just put them right in there, lock it down, and you can walk away from your van knowing that it's secured to your van and your bikes aren't going anywhere. That's so cool because yeah. we used to have a, have a bike rack on our old van, but I'll yeah. tell you, I never wanted to ride my bike just because I didn't feel like taking it down from it, but this looks so easy. Yeah. I feel like I have no excuse not to get a bike and ride now. Exactly, and the other cool thing is it actually has a bar that you can mount in your garage mount this uh, rack right in your garage and load your bikes. So now when you get home and you're like, well, I'm not taking the bikes out, it stores right out of the way for you. Um, and then it has a locking strut in the trailer hit in the, the tow hitch. So you just crank that down and then you don't have all that wiggle and play and vibration uh, that you get from a lot of the other hitches that are out there. Nice. So if people are interested, where can they go? How do they connect with you guys? So it's Velocirax.com. And then uh, Seth right here, he can give you some specs on weights and, and all that, the capacities that it can hold as well. Cool. You want to hit us up with some specs? Sure. So our uh, smallest rack is the three rack, and it weighs about uh, 75 pounds, and the seven goes all the way up to 100 pounds. Um, but like you said, each, capa each tire can weigh, uh, hold up to 55 pounds, and then the biggest, uh, most weight you can put on your rack is 230 pounds. So if you want to load up your bike um, with, up with e-bikes, you can do that no problem. Nice. Thanks so much for the time. Really appreciate it. So yeah, nice to see you again. You. And congratulations yeah, on the stealth. You. She just got... So this is yours? Yeah, this is Yeah, all right. Congrats. Exactly. So she got a storyteller stealth. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Hope to see you on the road. We'll yeah, catch you in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Bye, guys. Storytellers everywhere. That's so cool. So we're going to check out some kitchen gadgets for sure. Oh, hey, puppy. I'm on our YouTube last uh, live we did. But we like to feature... So there are a couple companies that are really just doing it right. Overland Gear Guy, Canyon Adventure Vans, Owl Vans, all really making sure they're putting out good product, good customer service, manufactured in America. So we love these guys. We have their um, their rear seat organizer in our storyteller. We love it. Works great. We fill it with stuff. That's this one right here. And they've got all kinds of goodies. So these we're definitely leaving with today. So these you can put in a headliner shelf. This you can put in their um, storage box, right? And everything's cool because it has these labels so you know exactly what's in them. And they're Velcroed, so you can pop them on and out, swap them out. But this gear, it's so well made and so sturdy. We've stuffed ours full. And I, I thought for a second, there's no way I'm going to be able to carry all this stuff without a zipper breaking or whatever. But it's so sturdy and strong. Lifetime guarantee, Lifetime right? Warranty. Lifetime warranty on this stuff. Really good gear. Tell us, what's your name again? Gavin, what's your name? Gavin, called Chad. Chad nice and that's Paul. You. We're live on YouTube right now. Sweet. Um, so what are your most popular stuff? Like, what, what gear is flying off the shelf? What's so the most popular? Most popular at the Overland at conventions and stuff like that is a lot of the more universal stuff. Because we do a lot of van specialized, but we'll also do a lot of headrest stuff. So we have like our laundry bags over here are going to be just easy clip onto any headrest. The trash bag, same deal. And then our seat back organizers on this side. Yeah. All of that can fit any seat, completely universal. And then we make longer ones for vans and other specialized products and vehicles. 
Cool, let's talk about this rear uh, bag for a second on the rear tire. So a lot of times we see the trash roo but I have had some people say, ah, you know, broke after a while, I gotta get new ones. So why is yours kind of better than the, than the trash roo yeah. which is what I've heard. So ours is made out of vinyl material, so it's completely waterproof. It has that lifetime warranty, so when it's out in the sun, in the rain all day long, no matter what happens to it, you can send it back. If anything goes wrong, you hit a rock, you bump it, you break it. It has that grommet in the bottom to have any leakage come out and make sure that you stay all clean inside. You can turn it inside out, you can spray it, you can mount it onto the tire with five separate straps. There's a secure mount there. We also do a tailgate version of it that's able to hang down. You can see on the truck there, hangs down to the ground but doesn't quite touch the ground so you can keep it open while you're using your kitchen and toss trash as much as you want in there. Um, those buckles and everything are removable, so you can keep the straps on, but remove the buckles, so it's an easy replace. Uh, completely waterproof because it has that zipper with the liner that seals it off from the rain and everything. Um, but yeah, it's just it's high quality and it's going to last you forever. It's a one-time purchase. You can't do a lifetime warranty with low-quality products because we'll run out. Yeah. That's what it's all about is a one and done kind of thing. People always ask us, you know, oh, the stuff you have is so expensive, but you know, instead of buying, you know, product after product, like 10 times because they break and you go to Amazon, like we want to buy quality products. You buy it once, that's it. We want to support American manufacturing yeah. and just good companies, good people doing the right thing. Right. So thanks for what you yep. do. We might check that's out right. uh, check out your van over yeah, here so on. people can see what it looks like in real time. How's it going? Good, good. What's up? How are you? Good, Let's say good. hey to the people on YouTube. Hey, YouTube, land? YouTube, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like walking us around your uh, uh, sure, sure. your uh, rig here and show us uh, some of the products you got, just so we want you guys to see what they look like in a van rather than on a wall. Right? Feel free to yeah, take yeah. the mic. If okay. You just hold it uh, close to your. Gotcha. Your so, so kind of one of the one of the things we're really known for are the uh, the over the headliner shelf bags, and it's just it's just really nice. Just pulls out. You got whatever in there. Um, socks, shirts, okay, I need my shirts today. Um, I actually keep anything electrical in here, so yeah. batteries and, and different radios, two ways, stuff like that. So. And those headliners always get so messy. Ours oh, is yeah. chaos right now. Things are behind everything, so yeah. just something simple like that. Yeah, it, you know, it, 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 it just looks good and it's organized and it's, it's just there, it's, it's where you need it to be, yeah. you know, honestly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> little things like this, boom, just take that off. Like that, if you know, if you got a medical emergency over there and stuff like that. So nobody's probably seen this one. This is a modified Atlas pouch, and uh, basically your atlases can still go in right there and stuff. But I added all this. I just want to try something different because I, I like to see my stuff. I don't like to see. Okay, yeah, there's my scissors. Go for it. Um, so I did that, and then this is just a different uh, seat organizer. And, stuff and I'll like tell that. you, we've stopped this. And I'm always like, there's no way a zipper can handle it, but we've stuffed it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. mean, really, it's so solidly built that you can just pack this jam full of gear. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another, uh, over here, we got just another seat organizer. Um, the tr headrest trash bag. I mean, this is just nonstop. We, we, you know, this is this is one of the first things we made, and, and you know, we just, we just love it and stuff. Um, the center console, it's, it's, it's jam-packed. I don't know if you can see that, but um, if you... If you're not, I, mean, I, I can step over it and stuff. It's not a problem. But uh, you know, if you do want to use something like that, you have to remove it to uh, to swivel the seats. Right. I think in two years we've probably swiveled the seats once. Mm. You know, and, and I guess that was to see if they swivel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure they work. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Oh, oh privacy so curtain. Cool. Oh, nice. um, so you can take this off here. Which let me show you. Yeah. So just two magnets, one here, one here. Just like that. Oh, neat. But the best thing is you take it and put it out back. Open up the, the back doors uh -huh. to where they're straight. Turn this sideways, and you got a shower curtain. Cool. So it works, nice. it works out great. What you got going on above the bed over there? Um, so above, above the window? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just, just, window. Just, just miscellaneous storage stuff. You can put, um, you know, again, batteries and, and, uh, and, and just, you know, all kinds of um, just whatever you know yeah, back okay. in there and stuff and so i've got the I, I i haven't i've never put that on the website it was kind of a one-off oh, thing sorry. and yeah no it's okay uh, i mean it kind of shows what we can do yeah. if you have l track yeah you know like the storyteller and and, uh, and the rebel i don't i don't think they have any l track in them so uh, the storyteller has some l track does it, it? Oh, oh, okay right yeah um but but yeah up like this and and uh so so there's that. So if people are interested in your stuff, where do they go? Overlandgearguy.com, and uh, same with all the social media platforms and okay. any, anything new we throw on Instagram. Cool. So you it. Guys uh, like those too? What's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So just magnetic. So the thing about this, undo these four screws, 
drop it down and we, we provide metal plates and super glue and you just glue those in place and then just like that. It looks like that's insulated. It is right? Havelock wool. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We love yeah. Havelock wool. Yeah, it's amazing. That's done. Cool. So all right. Thank you so much. You we love you guys. Again, you want quality. One buy it once, one and done. You know, this these are one of the companies that are really just doing a good job. It, it is a little more money, but it's a one time. Yeah, it's worth it. Instead of buying ten of the same thing after exactly. it rips off Amazon, yeah. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Really cool stuff. Again, you seen us feature them uh, last expo too, Overland Gear Guy, Canyon Adventure Vans, Owl Vans. We're gonna keep showing you the same companies because we love them so much. They do really good stuff. Whoa, what is this? Lord have mercy. Hi, is this yours? How's it going? We're, we're live on YouTube right now, is that okay? You don't, you don't wanna be on YouTube? Can I go inside? Oh, okay. We'll be back. We're going to come back. Yeah. Chad, that's our next van. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to fit in a standard parking spot. But that's awesome. Wow. Holy moly. That's almost as tall as I am. That's insane. That, yeah. We gotta, we're going to get in that. We're going to come back for sure. Ter called ter Terra X? Expo? Terra X? Interesting. So yeah, a lot of overland gear stuff we got going on here. I'm gonna try and find some kitchen supplies, right? Um, Cause I wanna see, I'm always looking up to cook, do a little more cooking, right? Upgrade our kitchen supplies. But let us know if you got any questions, if you got any song or dance requests, I'm here all day. All right, a lot of, Let's see what we got going here. Hitcher, oh, here we go. Here's. Hey, thanks, Gary. Anyone wants to pay me, I'll be, uh, I'll be a host all day. So here's some kitchen stuff. I always follow the food. What's going on, guys? We're, we're live on YouTube, if that's okay. Is he all right? I'm Chad. What's up, dude? I'm Austin. That's Paul. Hi, Paul. So uh, I, I smelled the smells, right? I had to come over to see what y'all are cooking, what you got going on. Just burning things. Just burning, just things. burning cool. stuff. It tricks people into thinking that we're actually doing something. There you go. That's a trick. Like, oh, my God. All the smoke. And then it's just like. Just lighting stuff it's on a nightmare. fire. But you guys hungry? Yeah. yeah which I'm hungry. vegetarian, though. Uh, I got fun news for you. Yeah. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Not, no on the vegetarian. But tell us about the hitch fire. What's going on here? Uh, so, well, so we went live last September. Mm -hmm. And we've just kind of been. It's kind of some of the first events we've been able to come out to. So it's kind of nice being able to show people what we're doing. They can actually get their hands on the equipment. Um, we've been testing for well over a year. And then I'm just slowly building more and more accessories. Like this cutting board pops onto the steel base here. Side burners. It all breaks down. It packs friendly. Uh, it's cool, man. We've been getting some cool response. And trying about every month to come out with some new pieces. You know, So I've been working on fish cleaning station, coming out with tools next. Uh, yeah, man, we've been, we've been having a lot of fun with it. So how's the drive with this on back? When you know when you park, do you have to kind of clean everything up or is everything stay in place, everything solid? It, no, 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 it's all good. Yeah, yeah no, we've done a lot of off-road testing. That was kind of our main thing in the beginning. Yeah. I've done multiple days off pavement. I did 105 through a whoop section with this thing and cooked about 20 minutes later in Death Valley. Cool. So we've, we've gone through, we've thrown it through the ringer. Um, and it's just that, you know, we're a small team, so we're just kind of constantly building, making it better and better. And it's gas or it's truck? Yeah, so it's propane. Uh, so being out of Santa Cruz, we're definitely in fire country. So, you know, the whole briquette aspect, wood burning, right. that's kind of what my, part of my background is, having had a barbecue and a smoked meat business. Right. So I'm actually incorporating aspects of that into the propane grill. Like we're coming out with new features so that you can actually incorporate more smoke flavor. It's never going to be a smoker. Right. You know, we are a grill. But... Um, Got some new features coming out here in the next couple of months so that cool. say you're throwing on a more plain fish you want to add some aspect of smoke to it or say you know you're grilling your veggies no yeah, offense i was gonna say maybe I, some smoke can i convince I, you to I, make I, some I, smoked I, tofu or? i've grilled plenty of veggies man <laughs> but just that you know so it's a lot of fun because not only am i coming at it from kind of the building engineering background but also from an actual kind of higher end cooking realm yeah. so it's like making it so average barbecue folks are stoked with it but also so kind of some of the more elevated folks in the culinary realm are also like oh that, that's pretty cool those features where i can kick it up a notch you know cool i like it yeah thanks man really yeah, appreciate it appreciate you you the time yeah yeah, you guys have a good day. yeah shout me out if you come up with any uh tofu tacos or something like that. i'll be back <laughs> I, 
I, not gonna happen. Yeah. I'll be honest with my back. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got a, a cob of corn for you. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. All right, take it easy, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, really cool. What'd you say? Lots of people are requesting. Oh yeah, people are asking for Canyon Adventure Vans. So Canyon Adventure Vans isn't here at the show, but what we can do is we can take y'all back to our van either today or tomorrow when we go live, and we can show you all the Canyon Adventure Vans goodies we have. But yeah. A hundred people, hey, all right, what's going on? So let's keep walking around, see what we got going on. I, do you guys think I can convince that guy to cook up some uh, tofu tacos? Maybe just tortillas. Yeah, maybe just tortillas. He's in the smoked meat business, so I don't think so. So let's check out these guys, see what, you, what they got going on here. Huh. Hey, what's up, guys? Is this your, uh, your display? This is mine, but they are the experts. <laughs> They're the experts. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go chat with the experts then. Yeah, oh, go on. Oh, look at this little shade. The power of Redark. Let's see what they got going on here. Hey, guys, what's up? How's it going? Good. So we're live on YouTube right now awesome. if you want to take some time. I'm Chad. Redark. That's Paul. Uh, so we couldn't help but see the shade, so we were drawn to you guys. So uh, let us know what you guys have going on, uh, what you guys do. Yeah, so we're Redark. We're based out of Australia. We are the U.S. team here. We do power management. So... The people that are looking to do dual battery setups, they come to us to make the magic happen and keep those batteries topped up when they're off grid, on the road, what have you. Um, we do DC to DC charging, battery isolators, brake controllers, all the good stuff in between up to vehicle management systems if you're getting into the big, big builds. And if you look at the back of the Land Cruiser in a little bit, we'll show you what we have going on. We have our full Red Vision system back there so they can not only control and, and manage their full battery setup, they can also manage up to 10 accessories as well. So I can't keep up with all the battery upgrades, what's new, all the lithium, all the different, you know, high output alternators. So what's like the newest thing in the, in the battery realm? Probably keeping up with lithiums. Yeah. Um, lithiums give you the most battery life that you can get. Obviously, they're a little more expensive, but they're, you gain in, in the weight loss and then the full capacity of them. And then comparing, adding them with our full Red Vision system, that's our, our brand new flagship uh, gives you full control of your vehicle and, and you can make sure you're out in the outdoors or off grid for as long as you want to be and adjust accordingly. Cool. So and how are you charging up the lithium batteries here? It's going to be through our Manager 30. So tied into our Red Vision system is the actual charger. It's called our Manager 30. Puts out 30 amps an hour if needed. Mm -hmm. And that way they can really, or you can plug into 110 shore power if they're at a campground or at home and top up before they go off. So as they're driving, they're able to manage those batteries or when they get stopped, if they have accessibility to the 110 outlets, they can charge up as, there, as well there. And it's a 12 volt system? Yes. Cool. Yep. All right, cool. Thanks so much. So yeah. if people are interested, where do they go to? Where do they? Uh... Uh, RedArcElectronics.com or you check us out on YouTube, um, Redark Electronics. We have a ton of videos, not only from our U.S. team, but also from our Australian team. Cool. Are you mostly doing Jeeps, you know, trucks, that kind of thing? You do vans everything. as well? Yeah, or? absolutely everything. Anybody that wants an auxiliary battery bank, we have something for them. So it doesn't matter if you're camping, hunting, or just need extra power if you're for your work vehicle, we have something for it. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. Really appreciate you all taking the time. Show, Take care, guys. Yeah, so when you're at an expo, what you want to do is follow the shade and follow the food, the experience. Where should we go next? What do you think? This way? Similar with the kitchen, outdoor kitchen. Really? I want to see this outdoor kitchen thing. So do you think they'll have some uh, tofu for us? Probably not, right? Oh, is this? Oh, no, that's just outdoor gear. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So I think a lot of what you get here... How's it going, guys? A lot of what you get here is, you know, more of the uh, pop-top camper scene. If that's what you're into, let us know and we can track down some, uh, some good outfitters and upfitters for some of these pop-tops. So if you follow the Russos, where the Russos, they're in a pop-top camper. Um, do some really great videos. Some of you always been interested. Oh, we have these jerry cans. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, I love it. The lights and that folds down to a bed. Super cool. How's it going? We can go inside? What's your name? I'm Joe. Joe, I'm Chad. Yeah, That's nice Paul. We're live on YouTube right now. All right. All yeah. What's up, guys? So what's, tell us about your company. What you guys so, do? So we're uh, Harker Outdoors. We make these uh, cool little pop-up tents. Yeah. Um, the difference between us, I guess we're more a camper than a uh, pop-up. Uh -huh. uh, we eliminated the crossbar that you see on every other wedge camper and then added this annex that comes over your tailgate. So that just made a ton of room 
and it eliminated your crawl to entry. Right. Because every other one, you have to get on your hands and knees, go oh, through the yeah. trap door. So if you need to use the restroom at all, you got to open the trap door, wake up your spouse, and crawl out. This, you can just get up, hop out. Mm. You can change your clothes, stand up, not have to worry about it. So cool. we're at uh, 300 pounds, so a super lightweight camper. Yeah. Um, so you can fit a lot of gear in there. Yeah, if you want. tons of gear. And, and the cool thing is with our entry, you can pack this thing full and still get into your camper where everything else you'd have to pull that out, go through the trap door. Yeah. And what chassis, like what, what kind of vehicles can you So use? right now we have them for the Gladiator, the Colorado, and the Tacoma. Hmm. Um, and we're working uh, next spring, probably have the full size trucks. Oh, nice. So. And where do people go if they're interested? Uh, if they're interested, like you can go to harkeroutdoors.com. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Harker Outdoors. Um, yeah, we're out there. Look for us. Thanks, man. I really appreciate so, you uh, taking the time. Take care. You, you go in there, get some shots inside? Oh, yeah. This is very so. cool. Cool. Yeah, that's real neat. Yeah. I like it. A lot more space. Cool. Super, super fun. Yeah. So they took out the <laughs> bar. So, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Oh, that's sleek. That's really cool. That's, that's badass. 200 watts of solar on top. Oh, oh, nice. You got flexible. Oh, 200 watts of solar on top. Cool. And what batteries do you have in this? Uh, AGM 100 amp battery to run all our lights. Uh, you could run a diesel heater if you wanted to run a diesel heater in here, and it's going to run all keep your fridge cold. So it's, it's kind of the sweet spot for power. I like it. Cool. Thanks so much, man, for taking the time. Yeah, really no appreciate it. Yeah, that's really sleek. <laughs> really, a lot of space up there too. A surprising amount of space. That's cool. So I don't know if you guys want to see us in a in a pop top. <laughs> I think we're a little bougie, but. <laughs> I don't know if it's something we could we could do long term, but maybe for a weekend or two, right? Oh wow, they got a lot of cool stuff in here. How's it going? Is this your your exhibit? Um, yes. You're, so we're live right now on YouTube. If you want to talk to the people, I'm Chad, by the way. Sure, Brent. Great Brent, to meet cool. You. Nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. This is so we are Taxa Outdoors. This is the Mantis Overland. It's our largest model. Um, all of these are essentially super light, durable camper trailers of various sorts. Um, we make seven models total, four base models and overland editions of three of those. Do you have any questions? Yeah, what's the weight? The weight on this one is, I believe, around 3,200 pounds. Cool, nice. So that's something we can actually tow with our storyteller. Nice. And what about battery systems, electric systems, all that stuff? I can I refer you to someone else? Yeah, of course, of course. We're gonna go check in if someone wants to come sure, in. Yeah, feel yeah. free to hop in. Cool. Oh, this is so cute. I like it. Nice. So I hear they got an AC running. So I'm curious to know what their electrical system is. Hey, how's it going? I'm Chad. Hi, Chad. I'm Ben. What's Hoffman. up, Ben? Nice to meet you. So we're live on YouTube right now. Awesome. I see you got an AC running. So I'm wondering what your electric electric system is. Uh, so the AC up. is actually running off of shore power. Oh, it's nice. the only item in this entire trailer that has to have shore power or a very large uh, uh, battery bank that we don't have I as a standard. You. Yeah. Um, cool. So our battery system uh, comprises of uh, two Group 27 batteries uh it, it all depends on what grade that you want to go but those two batteries or even one will be able to run the entire uh trailer while you're off grid and everything you do is super lightweight everything that we do in fact this model here is the largest model that we have and it has a dry weight of just under three thousand pounds because wow. we were saying so we're in a storyteller overland and we have i think okay. we can tow five thousand so i was thinking when i get ticked off at him i could uh send him on back here and he can have his own little a little mobile office or something actually, like that you can actually exile him up into the rooftop tent that is so, installed in the back. so that's the doghouse up the there dog that's house. the doghouse where my kids go yeah. and that's where bad employees yeah. go is that so this is when I, this is when I'm just ticked off, but up there is when he's really done something wrong. Oh, he yeah. needs a timeout. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Cool, I love it. Yeah. Very nice. You got a little lounge right here, a little lounge area. You know, that actually be a, kind of a cool thing to tell something behind the storyteller in, in case you know I want to exile you or we want a little or you know sometimes if you're doing uh, on a work call or whatever, right? And you need some silence to be able to tell something this lightweight behind it would be cool. Nice. Yeah. Get the fridge right here. Item. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> cool. Dometic range. Dometic sink. This is a big selling point for us. 
is basically the materials that we right. use. Right. No Lightweight and sturdy. And there's staples in there. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff and everything's exposed, so yeah, I don't know why issue. there's so much stick and staple construction going on. Yeah, yeah. It drives me nuts. Yeah, 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 it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if anything does go wrong on these, nine times out of ten, you can fix it by yourself, and right. you don't have to have like the dealership or anything like that. Of course, you 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 obviously can, right. but we use an exoskeleton so that nothing is hidden behind a wall. You don't have to tear apart a wall right. just to get to a fitting. You can get to everything. We were just talking about that because we had a Winnebago before oh, yeah. and everything is a custom little plastic Absolutely. thing. So like one little like plastic washer or whatever, we have to pay like 20 bucks for it. We have to wait three weeks. But if something goes wrong here, you could just go to Ace or Home go Depot. Ace, and go to McMaster.com. Like you can find all this hardware. It's very standard. It, all, it is all stainless steel. Uh, but other than that, that's the only thing that would set it apart from what you would call a standard hardware. Thanks, man. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Well. Really appreciate it. Well. Give me some, uh, some ideas for our relationship, for making our marriage last. Right, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, uh, it seems like more in the... Uh, off-road, you know, four by four scene, you get less plastic, less custom parts, more quality builds, right? Um, which is why we like Storyteller. What's going on here? Black Bear. Oh, the Bean Lounge. Oh, look at that. So fiberglass dealer, cool. Huh, interesting. There's so much eye-catching stuff here. So, oh, this is cute, look at this. A little bean. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Chad. Tanner, nice to meet you. That's Paul. So we're live on YouTube right now. How are you guys? Your beans are just catching my eye, so uh, tell us a little bit about them. Dude, you're going to have to talk to this guy. This that guy? guy? Yeah. Okay, this we'll pass you around. You guys need to talk to. All right, cool. So I'm going to go inside first, and then we'll have a chat and see, uh, get some more specs on. Sorry, no, it's okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. We're live on YouTube right now, by the way. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Welcome to Beanation. Yeah. When you're done, uh, come, we'll be right here, so chat with us. I want to get some more info on it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, Brad, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Let me know if you got a song or dance request. I, I will dance for super chats. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate that. Uh, so this is called The Bean. This is so cute. My goodness. So you got a nice, comfortable bed here. Could fit me and Paul. Uh, let's see what's going on. In this cabinetry over here, so you got some shelving, right? It looks like, looks like you've got. A, oh, this is cool. Some nice storage over there. It looks like you've got. What is this? So a Truma heating system going on here. Let's see if they've got any water in this thing. Yeah, it looks like you got. There you go. Oh, nice. So you've got a uh, hot water if you want to take an outdoor shower. I want to find out how much this bad boy weighs. Uh, but this is cute, and here we got the galley. Uh, looks like stainless steel, a Norcold fridge, and freezer, um, some uh, propane cooktop. Oh, specs over here. This is so cute. Cute little towel holder. I like it. The beam. Let's see what the so 100 amp deep cycle AGM battery, shore power. Um, you got some AC plugs. This is cute. Where's the weight? So 20, almost 21,000. Here we go. 2,700 pounds. Nice. Ah, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get you your little doghouse so we can wheel behind the van. I got some good ideas here. I like that. Why have we never thought about that before? Pulling a little trailer in case we need a little more space. Let us know in the chats if you guys think Paul should get his own little trailer that I can pull in uh, in my storyteller. That'll work. Oh, here we go. So finally, we got the kitchen stuff going on. Yay. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I'm Chad. Taylor. Taylor, nice to meet you. That's Paul. So we're live on YouTube right now. Yes. We've had a lot of requests for kitchen stuff, kitchen supplies. Yes. Am I in the right spot? You are in the place. Cool. Man. So tell There's us about what you like Okay, so this is I Tailgate and Go. The, okay, go. by the face? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is Tailgate and Go. This is your portable modular outdoor kitchen and dry box. So, take all the hassle out of camping for, or uh, packing for camping. Yeah. All of your accessories are interchangeable. Can I trust you with this? I can trust can you. Yeah, I can okay, trust see it. those notches on the side? Uh -huh. You're going to put those right here. Cool. You got that, boss? Yeah, I got it. Oh, just like that. Yeah. 
totally sober too. Hey, <laughs> all your cutting boards come out. They keep your box compartmentalized. They keep your canned goods away from your breads. So we'll just stick that bad boy right there. Oh, cool. And then if, when you're getting ready to serve, your flatware holder, beans and coleslaw, you can put that baby off the back. But just a modular box, man. Cool. That's where Super it's at. Looks, right? Yeah, 100% uh, aluminum, 100% made in the USA. We're an official NFL product. We've been on Shark Tank. Oh wow! Look at yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> we can we do uh, custom colors. So oh. anything from any sports team that you love, or if you're trying to match your vehicle for you know your outdoor rig. Yeah. But we you can add grills, griddles, stoves, sinks, anything that you want. How much does it weigh? It weighs about 55 pounds. Cool. So we try to keep it lightweight with the all aluminum. Yeah, and it folds in, into just this little box. You, oh, you want to see it? I kind of want to. Is oh, that okay? I kind of want to see it. You betcha. Let's go. Is this like a transformer? <laughs> this is one of those transformers. Yes, we call it a transformer. The Swiss Army knife of outdoor kitchens. Cool. Those guys go there. So I see a lot of tailgating with this, but even for someone that's doing like camping, you know, trailgating. taking out Trailgating. Trailgating. I like, uh, is that copyrighted? <laughs> trailgating, I like that. That's I'm cool. I'm stealing my idea. <laughs> and boom. Wow, look at that. You're off. Oh, it just comes with handles and everything? Yeah, so this oh, that's is to pull neat. it to the tailgate. You've got wow. your trash hook. Most important feature, bottle opener. Oh, look at that oh, over there. <laughs> bottle, oh, nice. Nine prototypes, That's awesome. baby. Nine cool. prototypes. Family so, owned and operated. Family owned and operated. Nice. So if people are interested, where can they go? Tailgateandgo.com. We're based in Colorado. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Cool. Thank you so hey, much. Thanks, That's guys. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you. when we're you guys? Out the, uh, we're gonna cook you guys some burgers here in a little bit. Nice. Cool. Oh look, come back for some burgers. This is wow. That's quite the setup. This is my adventure. This is my pop. Uh, hey, nice. How How's doing, it going? Man? Nice to How's meet you. Good. Right. How are you? Well, this is Cool. She runs the show, I just do the janitor work. There you go. Good <laughs> teamwork, huh? Right. Nice. Yeah, really cool product. Thanks cool. for taking the time to uh, show us around. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Take care, guys. See you guys. Cool. That's neat. So there's your outdoor kitchen some trail gating. I like that. That's a really cool... Uh, if she doesn't copyright that, I'm copywriting that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we got to go watch their Shark Tank episode for sure. Um, cool. Let's see what else we got going. I'm going to go down the other aisle here. So this one's a little different. The, the um, Adventure Van Expo that we went to, it was more... Grab your question from Disco. Disco. Disco Inferno. Burn. Wait, is that Disco? I, this is the only Disco move I know. Are there other Disco moves? But I'll take it. Uh, uh, disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. And the finish. All right, so let's see what else we got going on here. But this one, a little different, the Adventure Van Expo. I actually like that one. Uh, had a lot of fun there because um, you can camp out there too, right? So yeah, it felt more like a festival. But this is cool because you got a lot of kind of vendors in a concentrated area. But if you want to check them out, outside uh, Adventure Expo, then there's the Adventure Van Expos, there's Overland Expos, and we're going to hit as many as we can. So we'll keep you posted which expos we're going to. But having a lot of fun, getting sunburnt. I'm totally sober, but that may not be the case for the next live that we do. Yeah, there is the beer garden over there, which we had fun at last night. Oh, so here's another trailer. I'm getting into this trailer idea, Paul. I don't know about you. Vector off-road. Well, these look tough. Oh, cool. Yeah, a little crowded, so we might come back here. Oh, you've got a little place. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna, I want to talk to someone, see who I can speak to here. How's it going? You with, you with them? You're, hey, I'm Chad. We're live on YouTube right now. If you want to, you mind walking us around, telling us a little bit about uh, what you guys have here? I'd probably say Keith would probably be better. Right Keith now. would be the go-to guy? All right, I might come back. To, yeah, I'll get his attention later. But these look cool. So you can sleep, so that's where you sleep, and then you got the galley, everything outside. Ninety-five quart fridge. Oh, I see that. Cool. You got a spec sheet or something that yeah. I can take a look at? Cool. Nice. Chad and Paul on YouTube. Yeah. All right. So, 21-inch ground clearance. How much does it weigh? So dry. You're about 1,300. Dry at 1,300. Okay. So what at 2,000? Cool. 
So I'm going to take a look at this galley real quick. So we got a sink, a grill, the roto packs you can store some stuff in. We got some, oh, look at that, some storage right there. Nice. So this is the, looks like a Dometic cooler. I don't know how to get, oh, is this a swamp cooler? I don't know how to get this out. All right, we're going to have to get some help with that one. Oh. I don't want to break it. I'll wait till the wait till the professionals come. But I do want to get up here and see what what's going on up here. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I just want to take a little take a little. Hi, are are you with the? Is this your exhibit? Oh yeah, that's my exhibit. Oh, this is. I'm so sorry. We're live on YouTube right now, by the way. I'm Chad. That's Paul. Um, we couldn't help but admire what you got going on. So you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what you have? You mind grabbing the microphone? Okay. Cool. Um, it's a steel frame aluminum body. Uh -huh. So it's lightweight. It's about 1300 dry weight. This one's probably 18 to 1900. So it can be pulled by a Jeep. Cool. You know, lightweight. And it goes anywhere. So that's the important thing. Very you nice. can take it off road, go and anywhere. How much does it hold, like water wise? A 22 gallon water tank has hot water on demand, it has a stove, um, sink back there, it runs off batteries. Yeah, what and then it has a propane. Has, what's the electric system? It has a dual battery, marine batteries, right here. So, recharges while you're driving. Very cool. Thank so, yeah. you. Cool. Thanks yeah. so much for taking the time. I appreciate <laughs> no it. And if people are interested, where can they go? Uh, Vector Off Road. So it's vectoroffroad.com. Cool. Thanks for letting me chill in your tent. I appreciate <laughs> it. Take care. Yeah. So I expo shade, right? Food. And free sleeping quarters, free beds. Wow, so we got some side-by-sides here. Wow. Cool. Oh, should we go back and check out that, uh, that cruiser? What cruiser? The, gi the giant thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of these. these are cool. These are really cool. What's up? How's it going? How's it going I'm Chad. That's Paul. We're live on YouTube right now. If you want to oh, nice. tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. Yeah, sure. We're, uh, we're tactical application vehicles. We're out of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we do ground up uh, custom tailored builds, expedition builds, mainly based off of the late model Toyota platforms. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an interview process that we do with our customers to make sure that they have everything they need for their expeditions and we've just launched our UTV side. So cool. we're trying to show the, the bridging the gap between the expedition trucks and like adventure motorcycle type camping. Oh, that's really so, cool. Yeah, long, long range, uh, you know, expedition travel like this one right here yeah. uh, we built for Can-Am. So and not they, just like a day trip out into the desert, you can take this for? Yeah, for yeah, so this one, this awning right here has a wall kit. You could camp right under it. Uh, we're running solar. We have a refrigerator in there. What we're kind of, what's the electric system, the solar? Tell us we're, about that. We're using a Dometic. Uh, we have the battery pack from Dometic that we will hook to our refrigerator and then we'll run solar. Right now it's kind of just thrown out there, but it's, uh, and we left our battery pack back uh -huh. at the shop, but yeah. it's, uh, yeah, so we're trying to show that you can use the, the longer travel sport uh, UTVs as something that uh, you can camp off of and, and have long range expedition travel that, that uh, is more high performance than you would with a truck or, or something. But Really cool idea. Thank you. So if people are interested in more about what you do, so you do total custom, ground up, someone comes in, you work with them, figure out what their needs are? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, we can go down to what vehicle you need to buy for what you want to do, uh, and then we can work from there. Cool. So if people are interested, where can they go? How can they connect with you guys? Uh, well, you can go to uh, Tactical Application Vehicles. On, you can either Google it or TAV LLC. Uh, it's at TAV LLC on Instagram. And, um, but, yeah, it's TAV.com. Cool. You going to be taking them out at all this week, or are they heading straight back to uh, the shop after the show? It's probably going to go right back to the shop and get back to work. <laughs> but, cool. 
I like the KC lights too. Thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate yeah, really it. Cool. Take Thank care. You. Really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. So, yeah, there you go. Well, wherever we're camping, we always see, you know, the dune buggies driving by. And I'm always like, oh, man, one of these days I just want to work up the courage to ask one of them to take me out or let me borrow them for a bit. But, um, yeah, it'd be cool. Really cool. I like that idea because a lot of times people are taking those out for just, you know, a day trip somewhere. But to be able to take those out longer term, camp with them is pretty cool. Oh, we should head this way probably. Sure. Keep your eye out for shade and food, okay? And let us know if there's anything you want to see. If you want to see van builds, if you want to see more off-road stuff, if you want to see pop tops. We're very new to the pop top scene, so I'm sure that... Uh, that Joe and Kate Russo could do a little bit better job telling you about the features of them. But now, my interest has peaked on some of these uh, trailers I can pull behind our storyteller. Oh, wow. These are cool. So I was looking for some shade and I found some. So let's see what's going on over here. Really cool. Uh, hi, how's it going? Good, Good, I'm Chad. Hi, I'm Chelsea. We're live on YouTube, just checking things out. Uh, and. Uh, this definitely caught my eye. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do? Yes, um, we are Opus Camper USA. We are a off-road trailer manufacturer and based in Northern California. We have all four of our units here for the first time all together. Cool. So we got the OP15, we've got the OP Lite, we've got the OP2, and we've got the OP4. Cool. And what are the differences? Weight, size? Yes, so the OP Lite is our lightest trailer, um, least expensive, um, under $20,000. And, and what's the weight on that? It is 2,300 dry weight. Okay. And then full, I think it runs 3,200. Cool. And then you've got the OP, or OP2, which has a queen size bed, built in hot water shower, a lot of storage. It's primary differences between that one and the four. Yeah. Um, and that one is a tow weight, we, is 4,400. Um, and it's. It has a really awesome built-in shower, and yeah. Cool. Really cool. And how about, what's the water tank size? So you've got um, 33 gallons of onboard water on this one. You have two water tanks, 120, 113, cool. a Seaflow water pump. And then this one has two 20-gallon water tanks and two water pumps. Um, both of them have eco temp heaters in them and hot water showers. Um, and what's the electric system like? So this one has, they both have a three, two AGM batteries. You can get a lithium battery upgrade. We do battle born and then a progressive dynamics charger for the upgrade. Um, this one has three um, 100 amp AGMs. But this is, the this is the heaviest? Yes, this is the OB15. This is uh, 6600 is the GBRW. Um, and it is hybrid, so it pops up about an extra two feet at the top, and then it pulls out in the back. Cool. And has a, uh, two bunks and a king size bed inside. Wow. They all have slide out stainless steel kitchens. Cool. They all have yeah. nice fridges. I haven't seen like awnings and shade cover this big in a, yeah. in a trailer before. It's cool. Yeah. So that awning goes on that camper too. Yeah. If you want. And then we also have one for that one. And they air up all together. Oh, nice. So you can air up the tent and the awning all together. Nice. Cool. We're going to go check it out and get inside. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain them to us. Let's see if we can get in this one. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. Wow, this is cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at how spacious this is in here. This is nuts. So we've got uh, this looks like a full size. I forget what she said. This looks like a full size bed up front. Another one in the rear. Uh, this is the one with the shower. I really thought she said this one. So here's a little cassette toilet in here. I thought she said there was a shower in this one. So she said two AGMs, I think. Uh, nice shade, I gotta say, I like it. This is cool. Maybe it's out back, yeah. Oh, we gotta go out back. We gotta see the shower. Looking for shade, food, sleeping showers out here. Oh, nice. Look at this. This is so cool. Let's see how to get in here. I think there's a zip somewhere. Oh, there's a zip. 
So it looks like it's a zip down here. Oh, you can stake this in the ground too. Come on in. Got a little shower out here. Nice, very cool. And I forget the water tank size in this. Let me see where the shower head is. That's cool though. Oh, right here, look, here we go. So we've got the Eco Temp. I think this is instant hot water. And it looks like this all kind of just folds up and in. That's pretty neat. Very cool. I want to check out the this one over here. The Opus Off-Road. See if I can get in here. You gotta keep up, Paul. You gotta keep up. How's it How's going? going? Good, how are you? Good. All right, so let's hop on in here. There he is. There's my oh. husband. Oh, nice. Wow. Is this a king size bed? I think this is a king size bed. So a nice big bed. Is this king size? King size bed. You got they're gonna replace yes. that in a second. That's oh they're gonna king size bed. It cool. Back in half, the whole back half of that camper comes nice. in, so it shorts over on the Ah, so the king size bed folds in half, so that side as the slide out comes out. It didn't slide, it folds. Oh it folds. Yeah, oh it cool. Folds. It's like Tetris. Nice. And then you got some bunks over here for the kids. I'm going to go over here and see if we can see this one inflate because that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Shower. You got a toilet in here. What's the tank size on the toilet, on the black tank? So you have, it's 90 combined. So you have, uh, my hair, let's get this. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Happens all the time. It's third time today. Ah. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, where we got it out here? Somewhere it's listed in this book. It's supposed to be. It's 90 total, but we got black, gray. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. 17 gray, 10 gallon black. Uh, you got two uh, 20 pound gas holders, and then you got 63 gallons of fresh water. Cool. Yeah. Nice and cool in here, too. I like yeah. it. Three. I was telling them at an expo, you want to find shade, cool air, yeah. nice place to chill. Yeah. This is a place to hang out, huh? Don't hit your head and rattle Don't your head. Don't hit your head, yeah. I'll have to get some beers and bring them in here. We'll yeah, chill for a little bit. I know. The thing is, I tell everybody, you'll do it about twice and you won't do it anymore. What is it? Fool me once? Yeah. Right? Eh. All right. So let's yeah, see no, if we can see this uh, inflate. Uh, inflate that. Yeah. yeah. So this is the OP light. So this is the lightest one. Uh, so they just deflated it. I want to see if they, uh, once they inflate this. They've got Zamp Solar, portable solar panels. So I just... I'm not a huge fan of solar on the roof of vans because really you want to be in direct sunlight. We haven't gotten a lot. I like the portable solar panels. We've had Zamp in the past. They work great. A lot of people are saying it's a lot different than the uh, pop-ups from you know, 20 years ago. Yeah, a lot different. These are, they got the newest stuff here, so that's cool. Is it going up? What? Is it going up? I don't know if it's going up yet. Maybe they're still talking about it. We can come back when it goes up in a bit. How's it going? Oh, you do? Yeah. Hey, we're live on YouTube right yeah, now, actually. Really? Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's, what's your up? name? Celso. Celso. Las Vegas. Oh, nice to yeah. meet you. Very cool. Still doing the online thing? Yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> drop shipping, e-commerce, everything. Yeah, yeah, we're. Is it okay if we're live right now on sure, YouTube? Yeah, if you don't mind? Hey. Yeah, what's Las up? Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> well, what brings you here? Well, just checking out this. Uh, we're in the market of RV. Oh yeah. So hopefully next year we can get one. Yeah. What are you looking at for RV? Uh, just a small one, Class B. Yeah. And uh, I like this uh, this camping stuff right here. Yeah. But most of them won't fit in my garage. Oh yeah, <laughs> so that's we a good were point. We're looking at the small uh, the mattress uh, van right there. Yeah. And it's good for four people, and it has a pop-up uh, bed. Mercedes. The Mercedes mattress. Oh, yeah. where are they over there? It's right behind this. Uh, right there. Oh, the white nice. one. It's oh, really we'll go nice. check it out. Yeah, check it out. It's really, cool. It's really compact. You can park anywhere. Nice. You can park it in your garage. Yeah. Cool. It's really nice. Thanks for the tip. We're going to head over there now. Nice to meet you. Really Bye. appreciate it. Bye. Yeah, take care, guys. So sweet. So I want to check out this pop top Mercedes. That's cool. So a lot of people have like, um, have uh, uh, HOA restrictions, height restrictions. Um, and they're looking for something uh, 
like a pop top that still has low clearance. So the last expo we were at, we checked out mod vans, which we really like. We got a video coming out about mod vans soon, uh, but similar concept, right? So low clearance, pop tops you can get in. Uh, looks really cool. Oh yeah, very easy. Very cool. Yeah, that would be nice too. in the garage, you know? Hey, how's it going? What's up, guys? We're live on YouTube. How's it going? What's up, fellas? How many viewers do we have right now? Uh, 100, how many? 100 and... Uh, 120. If, if you guys can drop a question, that'd be really, really cool, you know? There you go. Drop a question. Drop a like. It's yeah. all good. So tell us about what y'all do. Who's, who, am I, who, who to talk to here? Uh, I'm Jeremiah with ADF. Uh, so we're full on custom conversion. So we have a Metris and a cap over here, which is uh, the smaller van, not the Sprinter, but the Metris. Yeah. Has a pop top, travels four, sleeps four. Um, full kitchen on the inside. It's a full pass around AC and heat in the back of the van as well. We get a lot of people interested in stuff like this because of HOA restrictions, clearance restrictions, all that stuff. Yeah, the pop top comes down and still fits in your garage, drive throughs, whatever you really need to. Um, so just a great all around daily driving van, you know. So it's something still gets 24 miles to the gallon. Um, it's just a great, great utility vehicle, you know. Cool. So we're going to go in and check it out and then we'll have you tell us about this bad boy. Cool. Nice. So this is a really cool, uh, cool way to get out. If you got a garage you want to park it in, but still want to go out and uh, do some exploring. So they got a nice uh, little Dometic fridge here. Oh, nice size cooler actually. So this is one of the Dometics that I like, which actually has a closing um, uh, door, so it's not going to ice over as much. You got a Dometic gas range. You got the um, spinnable chairs. So you can sit here. Nice little uh, seating area and still has the, uh, the DOT rated seats. You can sit down and it looks like this folds back. Yeah, it does. So this folds back into a bed. So you can lay here, you could fit uh, two comfortably here. Oh, nice. Look, you got uh, doors on both sides. That's cool. So you can get a nice cross breeze over here. And I actually like this, uh, the position of this galley because I could just sit and cook right here all day instead of having to stand up. What'd you say? And then just turn and eat. Yeah, and then just turn and eat. Super easy. Cook right here, bring it over onto this table and eat it. That's real cool. And let's see, check out the clearance on this. Nice. So a uh, really good height. And this is the bed that folds down. And this, does this fold back too? Uh, the seat is fully motorized. So if yeah. you're looking the switches by, the, by your right foot, right. it slides forward and back, tilts and back. And this folds back into a bed that you and can with sleep the in? the memory foam insert in the rear, it becomes a bed. Good for about one adult or two kids. Nice. And it also, yeah, it has four seat belts so you can take everyone with you on the go. Cool, cool. So that's cool because a lot of people are restricted. They have friends they want to bring that they can't because they don't have enough space. So here, and these are the DOT rated seat belts on both yep. of these so you can fit two back here. Very cool. So this top thing folds out Got down into a bed. Pull it down. Nice. And what about, tell me about the water tanks, electric, all that good stuff. So this one has an 18 gallon water tank. It's got uh, just normal batteries on this one. We have yeah. options to, you know, increase it if you're looking to have a little bit more power. Nice. Um, we also have an external solar panel outside on the other side. Cool. Um, we also have our Adventure Van uh, Co. window curtains, which, you know, work for the Metris. We have ones for the sliders and the rear side window, as well as the trunk lid. Cool. Those are available on our parts website, DIYAdventureVanCo.com. And we have them for Sprinters, Promasters, Transits, as well as the Metris here. Cool. Um, and then the other cool thing I like about this one is that you can stand up inside of it, yeah. yet you can still pull everything down and take it, put it in your garage, won't piss off your neighbors, mm -hmm. and fits in a drive through so it's great for uh, road trip snacks mm -hmm. along the way. Right. Yeah. And even if, since the back folds down to a bed, if you want to be stealth and you're camping yeah. out on the streets somewhere in a city, you could just pull right off to the side and, and lay down and wake up and cook yourself a meal. Really cool. I like that design. I like them. I'm seeing more and more of these kind of low clearance, you know, vehicles that have the pop top. Really cool. They're great for like your everyday driver too. So you can still, you know, family of four can still drive to soccer practice, right. load all their gear with them and, you know, use it as a, you know, Daily everyday driver. car. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. So tell us a little bit about what you got going over here in the Sprinter. So this is one of our... This is one of our rental vans. Um, it's yeah. the most modular one we have. So we have what's called our Trimax bed system. Yeah. And that actually folds up along to the side if you want to hop in there and check yeah. it out. And so this is on the extended okay. chassis. You got a, so a cassette toilet right here. Looks like a five, was it five gallon? Yeah, it's five gallon. Five gallon, yeah. So here, if you want to see, sorry, can you do that one more time? Yeah, no so worries. we can get it on video. Yeah, the bed folds up here. Oh, nice. And then the cushion will fold up out of the way. And there's a gas to shock on uh, this aluminum frame and it folds up right here out of the way nice and easy and lightweight i have room to walk through the front to the back of the van uh storage for mountain bikes dirt bikes whatever you need to in here the base of this has a 22 gallon water tank 
I have lots of storage for other gear. Ooh. Up in here, um, I have space to travel with four people comfortably and safely. These are FMVSS certified seats so we have child restraints and grab handles, whatever you need to as options. Uh, they all swivel? They all swivel around. Uh, this one's more set up for four people to kind of travel two people can sleep comfortably um, unless you do like a, a cab bunk or something to kind of integrate some more beds into the van yeah. uh, you can do a, in there mattress down low if you need to uh, this rear reminds me a lot of the storyteller actually the materials cool. oh absolutely so it's so, i mean similar with the kind of like the, the fabrics and the yeah, textiles yeah. and like the, you know, kind of like the the kind of nice clean uh, yeah. kind of upholstered Sleek. look yeah i know i like it absolutely. a lot so this one's a rental right now. This is a rental, yep. Cool. So you got the isotherm. I, l I love the isotherms. I really do. Especially the pull-out drawer is really nice, super convenient. Now I know what kind of food you got going on, so I'm yeah, going to exactly. come back. Don't be surprised if anything's missing in there. For the day. Cool. And tell us about the water tank you got going on, the electric system. So this one's got a 22-gallon fresh water tank. This is uh, just got a basic AGM auxiliary battery. Oh. We do do lithium battery banks for other customers that want a little bit bigger and more extensive system. Yeah. Uh, we can do shoreline power setups, you know, inverter charge. Chargers, uh, the, the whole nine yards, really, whatever, whatever the customer needs. So we'll really sit down, design that system around where they're going, how they're using the vehicle, um, and really make sure that they get what they need without maybe just blowing their budget on things that they're not going to use or it's not necessary. Cool. So if people are interested, where do they go uh, to learn more about you guys? Yeah. So our website is adfsprinters.com, um, and we have you know website, uh, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, you can hit us at sales at adsprinters.com as our email. If you have any questions, uh, we can help source vehicles. We can build you know, on your own vehicles. So we have a lot of different opportunities and kind of flexibility for what you want to do based off you know your lifestyle. Where are y'all located? We're in Simi Valley, California. Cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. You guys look like a party. We got to know what Absolutely. Is, what, what's so Lori wants to know what's the material. This is called FRP. So it's a fiberglass reinforced plastic. What's nice about this is it's not just like a white aluminum sheet that might scratch and show right. a nice deep scratch. And it's, it's not a, fabric too. It's like, not fabric. What, I, what I used to get sometimes a lot is like when bugs would come in mm -hmm. here, I'd smash them smash against the roof exactly and then it. you just get, get the <laughs> yeah, marks yeah. of just dead bugs. It, exactly. So this is nice. This is a one piece ceiling so there's no seams in it. Um, it's nice reflective material so it makes the van feel a lot bigger. Um, and it's going to reflect light around so it's going to lighten up the interior a lot. Um, a nice part about this too is it's a full white substrate, so if I scratch it, I can just buff that scratch out and it's back to new. Cool. Do you guys yeah. do 144s too? One, 144s, 170s, 170 extended. Everything from the front seats back, we build by hand in our shop. So every van is custom. And this is the 170? This is a 144. One, this is a 144? This is a 144, yep. Why does it feel so much bigger? Wow. Yeah, di di different yeah. layout. <laughs> wow. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is blown. Yeah, that's so that's so funny. Yeah. I thought it was bigger. Cool. Thanks so much, yeah, man. I really absolutely. appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, We're gonna come back and party with y'all, okay? All right, take it easy. Yeah. Huh? That's I don't know why that felt so much bigger to me. Um, you know, maybe because they have the rear doors open too. That could be it. All right, so let's head back to where we were, so we don't miss out. Really cool. Oh, cool. We got some lights over here, some steak lights. I'm getting a little hungry. I might need to, I might need to go to that. Do we have uh, any money on us, Paul? Paul? Paul's the money holder. Let us know if y'all want to just, actually, I feel like every live we have to eat something. We might have to uh, do a little breakout session and uh, eat some food. A free therapy session. Huh. Ooh. They've got some... Uh, Massage stuff. Wait, I think I need a massage. I just want to check out what they got going on here real quick. Cool. What you got going on here? Hi, how's it going? So cool. All right, we're going to have to come back and check these guys out later. I think they got some therapy sessions going on right now. Yeah, let's look at the dog gear. And then I'm coming back for a massage. I feel like I interrupted their chill therapy zone over there. Oh my goodness. Oh, the stunt puppies. So for all those out there that are exploring, adventuring, and have dogs, this looks like the place to be. It's definitely the place to be. Yeah. Is this your exhibit? What was that? Is this your exhibit? No. Are you just... uh? We're just checking them out. Because oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Cool. For sure. Very nice. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm Chad. Good, good. This is Paul. We're live on YouTube right now. Oh, hi, Paul. Yeah. Welcome to Stump Puppy. 
Puppy. Yeah, tell us about what you guys got going on here. Well, Stunt Puppy is all about moving with your dog. The best way to build a bond with the dog, the best thing for your health, the best thing for their health is to get out and do stuff. So Stunt Puppy is all about gear. It's about getting out and doing stuff with your dog. We don't care how you move. If you walk, if you crawl, if you four-wheel drive, if you ATV, if you stand up paddleboard, if you raft, we don't care. If your dog is with you, we'd love it to be in some Stunt Puppy gear. Everything from collars that never become smelly because they really? don't get all dog collars oh, are basically boy. petri dishes. So yeah. yeah, we have a dog and after about two months of like oh. get he loves the water oh. so it gets nasty. Yeah, nasty because your collar is basically full of bacteria and yeah. that bacteria is what makes it smell. So our dry collar blocks water from being absorbed from the collar and without water, no bacteria, no bacteria, no stink. So beautifully soft and pliable. So still comfortable. Super nice. comfortable and it's yeah. really smooth so it doesn't mat the hair of the coat either and it just doesn't get crusty and foul. Cool. Um, but if you do want a crusty foul collar, we do those as well. Ah. <laughs> we also do. Really us I, oh yeah. yeah, but if you're going to have a crusty foul collar, you should probably have one that's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, so we make all of our own collars in oh. our Minneapolis workshop. Uh, we use um, dye sublimation for beautiful bright colours. We can even turn your dog dog's collar into their ID tag. We've custom print it so oh, that nice. your dog's details are forever in their collar using Stump Puppy ID. Oh, cool. uh, but Tell us a little bit, uh, so this is catching my eye right here, oh. this kind of stretchy. Uh, bright shiny things. Yeah, yeah so, like <laughs> so this is a hand-free runner. So basically this end goes around your dog. Oh, so what am I saying? This end goes around If you. you're talking about my husband, then it's true. <laughs> Just kidding, Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Well, funny when I was when I was a kid, my mother used to have me on one of these things around department stores. But no, this go. bit goes around you. This bit lets you run hands free with your dog. The slight bungee takes out all of the interruption and the jerking that you do as you're stumbling along over the trail. And this piece allows you to have your dog further away on a single track or much, much closer to you if you're on an urban road. So ideal about moving with your dog. We call it the stunt runner, but if you're snowshoeing, if you're hiking, anything like that, then the stunt runner truly is the bomb. Um, but my favorite product, if you'll let me, yeah, of dog life jacket. Oh, our dog loves the water, so yeah, we're always looking. Yeah, so uh, basically we come from a whitewater kayaking and water ski background in New Zealand. Went to buy a life jacket for our own dog who's snoozing in the crate behind me. Uh, we're pretty horrified at how they were constructed and designed, so designed our own. Uh, so basically most dog life jackets have a big gap between the front legs. They have a strap, they have a space, and then they have the bit underneath. Big problem. Two things you're going to do with a dog life jacket. One, you want it to help float your dog and keep it swimming really confidently, really strongly. If there's a gaping hole underneath the heaviest part of the dog, which is here, then all that happens is the jacket floats and the dog is sinking down below. Oh and they swim like a banana. Too, well, they swim like a banana. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. So we close the gap between the front legs to give balanced buoyancy between this part here and this part here so the dog swims far more level in the water. The second thing you're going to do with a dog life jacket is lift. My Ridgeback's 100 pounds and I stand up paddleboard with him and I can get him back on my board in one of these jackets without either of us um, saying any bad words. <laughs> so basically when you're lifting your dog in this, their body weight is spread all the way along this panel. It's effectively cradling them from the below with all of their ribs and the brisket area taking the body weight rather than the soft tissue of the throat and of the belly. It is also uh, locking them inside the harness. If there's a gaping hole here and you go to roll your dog, the chances are it's going to struggle and it could wiggle out. They are locked inside. We actually base this of the same framework that we do the avalanche dog harness where they hang them from the helicopters. Mm, cool. So the DNA is the same as what we call yeah. heli dog. Nice. So yeah, you know, we're kind of on a mission. Yeah. Please, we don't care what life jacket you've got, please put it on your dog when you go in deep water, it's better than nothing. Yeah. But when you're buying, really think about what it feels like to be a dog. Our tagline is built from the dog up nice. and we always take into account anatomy, physiology and psychology when we're building our gear. Cool. And here's your baby right here, right? Yeah, 
Oh, so sweet. So if people are interested in connecting and buying stuff, where do they go? Uh, Studpuppy.com. We make so much of our gear here in America. Um, we sell 90% of it through our own website that keeps our customers close and our price is reasonable. That's pretty much where, and that's how we like it. So I'm Angela. Uh, Angela at Stunt Puppy. If I get a million emails on Monday, I don't care. Um, you can always get in touch with me if you've got any questions, but service at Stunt Puppy, you'll you'll get straight to the straight to the answer box. Cool. Thank you so much yeah. for taking the time. Really Thank cool you. products. I really like them a lot. On a leash. Oh yeah, just sometimes, just when he deserves it. You know what I do, and you just put one paw in the collar, it slows uh, them down immensely. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, there you go. One paw in the collar. One paw in the collar. Thank you so much, take care. So cool. How are we doing sound wise? Is everything good? Sound, audio? Cool. So now I gotta, always looking for shade and places to chill. What's going on? Good, we're live on YouTube right now. I'm Chad. That's my husband, Paul. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so tell us about... Yeah, we saw you guys at... Uh, you all were at the um, the Adventure Van Expo, right? Yeah, uh, so at Yeah, so these are some comfy... Tell us about... I'm going to lounge while you... You want to do some talking? Tell us about yeah, what so, you got going on here. So these, the for sure. So we have a... That is the dually that you're on. It's a four-inch memory foam. It's uh, two layers of memory foam. The bottom layer is nice and stiff so you don't bottom out. And then the top is temperature controlled so it's not... When you take it outside, it doesn't get stiff yeah. if it gets cold, and it doesn't get too warm either. How many inches? So, four, inches. four inches. Yeah, so we have the long. We also have two uh, versions of it. We have the wide, which is what you're on right now, and then we have the long, uh, which is a little bit longer for, you know, taller people as well. Yeah, yeah and then when you want to store it, you just close it in a half. It has clips, and it has uh, some straps on the side. So, oh, so yeah, just fold it in half like exactly. That. So just go ahead and boop. Oh, cool. There you go. So that's a, it's more for the camp, you know, uh, a camper or the back of your truck. But then we also have the um, the sleep systems, and this is more for single outdoors or like right out of your car. Uh, it comes with like an inflatable base, oh, cool. and then the inflatable base is the same material as a paddleboard, so you can actually float. It's super durable, uh, and but so you I can use this as a floaty. Yes, you can. You may want to remove the memory foam on top, but just the girls uh, the other weekend were on top of the lake. We're just using the the base as a floaty. Yeah, and then uh, it's the same material as the dually. Uh, it's just two, four inches of memory foam, and like I said earlier, it's temperature controlled. And then the bottom is like that nice rigid, so it won't bottom out. Yeah, you can. Once you deflate it, you can actually just roll it all up together into that one bag. Uh, it comes with the pump in there, and like uh, it's about 25 pounds, so it's you know not too heavy, and you can just throw that on the back of your car, and then you're ready to go. Tell us about the pillows. The, yeah, the pillows. You're actually right on there. It's actually memory foam, the same material. It's just shredded, and then you can actually just open it up and pull it out, and then you got your pillow. So it packs down pretty small. Exactly. So it's packs up to one of these and uh, this it's the same kind of sleeve that the uh, the bed is and so it, you can wash it you can actually take the pillow off uh, but it's actually water resistant so it doesn't get too dirty or anything like that and this is what the this, this side holds up the exactly so there's actually one in there right now oh, it's, awesome. it's pretty light yeah it's good. yeah no it's uh, it's very you know very uh, portable for sure Thank you so yeah, much no for problem. taking the time. Really appreciate it. Well, it Can I come you. back and take a nap later do, today? Sure do. Cool. We'll see you guys Thanks. Later. Take care. I tried that pillow last time. It's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable pillow, I gotta say. So now I hope you guys are getting an in on, on how to maximize your expo experience, right? So we got some, whoa, those are some long boards. My goodness. Holy crap. You gotta tell us about these uh, boards here. Yeah, those are awesome. We're live on YouTube, by the way. Oh, How's it going? I'm Chad. Hey, good, to, good to know you. Nice to yeah, meet you. We're with Go On Gear. These are old vintage water skis turned into longboards. You just can't beat them, man. And they were like you can. Oh, for sure. Yep, definitely, definitely. I need to get a demo one. All yeah, these have brand say, new wheels and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to hop on yeah. these stuff. Uh, yep, yep. Cool. Grab a demo at some point. We'll come back and uh, yeah, test them out. Okay, yeah. ooh, they got some treats. <laughs> can I take one? Thanks so much, guys. Cool. Cool. Take care. I've never seen boards like that before. I gotta check them out. All right. Let's see what else. We gotta say hey to this. 
da 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 all right had to live out my jurassic park fantasy for a moment there so let's see what else we got going on here i think i might how long has this been going on by the way all right i might need a little food so we might wrap this up shortly save some what'd you say free glass cleaning yeah nice huh you want me to you want to swap? You can clean your glasses? You're not wearing glasses. Okay. We'll have to come back. Very cool. Yeah. Hi, how's it going, guys? Hi, we're live on YouTube. What's up? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. How are you? Cool, Chad and Paul. Yeah, tell us about what you guys got going on here. Yeah, yeah. So we recently just launched this company. We, uh, we're Overlanders, been running at it for a long time now. And we were finding needs out in the field that just weren't being filled by products that existed. So one of the biggest ones that was a struggle for us is firewood. Mm -hmm. And how do you contain it? You know, when you're, whether you buy it like we do with this wood here or bring it from your own wood pile or collect it along the side of the trail, being able to wrap that firewood up and contain it, whether you want to put it inside your vehicle or your van or your truck bed. Right. For us, we run it on the roof of our vehicle. We have a strap, it, so we have uh, tie down points here where we can strap it to the roof of our roof rack cool. and contain it, um, but also then be able to cinch it up around the wood. Again, if you find some wood on the trail, it's going to be longer than what you, you know, it's right. not going to be 16 inches. Uh, and then having the, the open ends also allows the air to flow through and get any moisture out of there. So right. we, again, we run on the roof of our truck through rainstorms and everything, but it still dries out as you run down the road. Oh, cool. Makes so a great waterproof. Waterproof. Yes. Yeah. Makes a great maintenance mat, dog mat, shower mat. We use it for all kinds of things. So we kind of we refer to it as an overland utility mat because there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. And then uh, comes with a kindling bag. And then when you when you're not using it, the whole bag folds up nicely, fits inside the kindling bag. You can stick it in the back pocket of your uh, your front, your driver's seat, and it's always there for you when you need it. And this is nice too, because in case you want to store it inside, it keeps all the splinters and wood chips off. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of folks are running them in the back seat of their Forerunners or their trucks right. or whatever, because it, it contains the mess. Right. Because again, you wrap it up here. Excuse me, real quick, and you pull that you pull the cinches, um, the cinch straps up, and you can see down there where it's right, it's right all down here up. where it's all. Yeah. Oh, so cool. It can still breathe. So it can still breathe. It's not going to get damp and harbor moisture or whatever. But it contains all that mess, yeah. and it doesn't come out of the side. So a lot of folks love it that way. And you can see right there, there's a storage uh, oh, nice. storage so pocket for the. Oh, nice. caught on something. And... Well, we run on the roof of our vehicle, right. and, and having these cords flapping in the breeze right, is very sure. uncool. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and it, besides, they'll wear out quicker. So yeah. we've got a pocket on there to stow them. Cool. Um, so if someone's interested, where do they go? How do they get in touch yeah. with you? You can find us at our website. Site, highroadadventuregear.com. Yeah, yeah, and also on Instagram, High Road Adventure Gear. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Check them out. If you're interested. Uh, so we also, we're, we're big fans of GoTreads. We've been right. using them for a long time. I like these because they're useful, right? They help the tire go, but then you can use them as leveling. Right? Leveling blocks, yeah. yeah. Every, almost every night we level up on them. Yeah. And that's the same thing for me. Everything needs, not everything, I prefer everything to have multiple functions. Oh, yeah. So I can level up or I can recover with them. Right. The challenge we ran into with these, using these for years, is we couldn't find a bag that really worked well, right. so we invented a better bag. Oh, nice. Yeah. So sometimes we want to pack them like that. Yeah. Sometimes you want to stick them behind the seat, whatever the case might be. Sometimes a cube format's better yeah. for you. So just the fact that it's a more versatile bag, we found work better for us. Folks like that a lot. And again, it's going to keep all the dirt and crud inside. Not yeah. All yeah, and also it still allows it to breathe because you put them in a zip-up bag. Right. When they're damp, they're going to be funky next time you go to get them out. In this right. case, they'll dry out while they're in your rig. You don't have to worry about them being a mess next time you need to get to them. Super high-quality materials, all made right here in the U.S. of A. Cool. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, take care. Very neat. Take care. Yeah, so in a van, everything has to serve a purpose, and you want to get good gear uh, that's durable, that lasts. Ideally, made in America, too, we like. So, very cool. Huh. Nice. All right, so I'm thinking about calling it for this live. And then uh, we're going to eat a little something, unless people want to watch us eat, which might be strange. But, um, yeah, what do you think? Any last questions? Any comments? Anything going on? Uh, say great job. How many people we got going on, by the way? We got over 120 people. Over 120 people. Nice. And he says, yes, made in USA. 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 <laughs> cool. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure to gently tap that, uh, sub that like button, or as Sterling said, to tickle it. Oh, there's so much we have. Oh, I want to see Torig. All right, so we're going to go live. What do you think? Today or tomorrow? So we're going to live tomorrow. go live tomorrow. Check out this whole other section. 
and we may or may not have had a couple of beers before then. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, uh, tap that bell notification if you want to be notified on when we're going live tomorrow because we're terrible planners. We might not be able to give you a lot of notice. Tickle that like button, right, Sterling, uh, if you like this video. Hit that unlike button twice if you didn't like this video just to let us know how much you didn't like it and we will see you tomorrow for more of the outside adventure expo i'm gonna dance it out